What is persuasion and provocation? What are the legal penalties for provocation? There are some dishonest people in our society whose daily job is to be friends and join people and persuade people to commit various crimes. There are some women who are ahead in these cases. For example, if you take someone to your house and introduce them to your family, it is enough to break up your family and humiliate your family. Then he will forget that he got to know your family through you and will incite and incite your family towards various crimes. Persuasion We only consider those who are directly connected with criminal activities as deserving defendants. But behind the crime can be the direct or indirect support of many people. Someone started whipping them from behind the scenes and inciting them to commit crimes. Assistants or instigators are just as guilty as the person directly involved in the crime. Encouraging or assisting in the commission of a crime or misdemeanor is called abatement in the language of law. The word abet is usually used in conjunction with special phrases to aid and to abet. The words aid and abet are almost synonymous in two legally special semantic phrases. Aid does not imply malice. But abet includes the intent of the crime or the criminal knowledge of the donor for that purpose. Under Section 107 of the Penal Code, Assistance provided before or during the commission of a crime is considered a bet. Assistance will be punished in the same way as the main offender, this is the general rule of law. Punishment for Persuasion Rule 180 contains a number of principles regarding the incitement and support of crime. Section 106 defines aiding and abetting a person who persuades a person to do something. Conspiracy with one or more other persons for the purpose of accomplishing a task. Or deliberately assisting in accomplishing the task by doing or not doing any work. That person persuades or aids to accomplish the task. A person who voluntarily conceals an important piece of information that he is obliged to disclose, arranges for it to be performed, or takes the initiative to perform or perform it. Shall be deemed to be persuaded to do so. Not only that, the person who does something to facilitate the performance of a task while performing it and facilitates its performance through it. That person will also be considered to help in the performance of that task. According to Rule 106 of the Act, a person who assists in the commission of a crime or in committing an act which is considered a crime shall be deemed to have committed the offense if the offense was committed with the same intent or knowledge as the offender is performed by legally competent persons. The offense of aiding and abetting can be committed by illegally abstaining from any work. Even though the person assisting was not obliged to do the work himself, it is not necessary for the crime of aiding and abetting to take place that the aided act should take place or the consequences necessary for the crime to occur. For example, a man named Rajiv persuaded Shahid to kill Khalid. But Shahid rejected that persuasion. Rajiv will be found guilty even though the crime was not committed here. Provocation Provocation and incitement are two of the most widely used English words for provocation and in the law of Bangladesh. These two English words are reflected the word provocation is included in the definition of persuasion. The definition of persuasion in section 107 of the Penal Code states, if a person assists, advises or incites another person to commit a crime or conspires or paves the way for a crime to be committed by taking action, it is called persuasion. It is clear from this definition that a crime can be incited through incitement and its punishment is equal to the main crime although the crime was not committed. There is a provision of seven years imprisonment for the crime of incitement. Punishment for Provocation Sections 505 and 505, A, of the Penal Code state the means of incitement it says provocation can be both verbal and written. On the other hand, Section 57 of the Information Technology Act also contains the issue of provocation in this law. Incitement using electronic format is considered a crime and it can be about any person state or religious feeling and its punishment is equal to the main crime although the crime was not committed 